Gamer's Table Independent Edition. It is Friday, and mm -hmm. we are reviewing Zombie Apocalypse. It has a great theme. I mean, you know from seeing some of our review, regular reviews of the Gamer's Table that we're all into zombie games. We enjoy zombie games. Hey, you saw our Halloween episode. You know how much we're into zombies. You've heard it all before. The yeah. dead are coming back to life, and they're hungry. Cemeteries are empty, and the world is a wasteland. The living, it's what's for dinner. But now it's for real. Z-Day is finally here. Put down your cell phones and pick up your guns. It's time to put that lifetime of survival training from zombie movies to use. I hope you were paying attention. If not, you had better remember one thing. When being chased by zombies, you don't have to be the fastest. You just can't be the slowest. You thought I was going to say you shoot him in the head or something, didn't you? Welcome to the <laughs> zombie apocalypse. Very nice effort with the art and cards. Chris likes yeah. the pictures. Well, it's nicely done. Like, well, the pictures are good. You yeah. got a black-eyed zombie. She's got a picture of a woman there with gross stuff all over her chin and like hollowed-out eyes. And this is a zombie infected. And it can team with other infected zombies, and, the, and it cannot be teamed up against. Um. One thing I do like about this game, too, is I like the theme. I kind mm -hmm. of started off saying that, and then I realized, well, okay, well, what are we going to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, zombies are fun. Nice. I like zombie, the zombie theme. Yeah, zombies so, is kind of cool. There's the rules. Four double-sided cards. That's the whole rules document. I think that, that's neat in a way because then they're in with the deck. It's easy to find for sure and everything. The problem is these rules are not expect you to already have known how to play the game. Yeah, like not the, everything's explained in them. Like there's the big, questions the big, we came up with. Uh, yeah. Who gets to deal the damage? Who chooses what? Like Basically, the, just in general, how is the damage dealt? Because all the only thing is one line in here says, "Then you assign damage." How? It's not easy to teach somebody how to play because we're really not sure how to play the game. And unfortunately, what you get in the box are these cards. So that's what we have to go by. There's some other things like the game will end immediately if all 12 humans are killed. But does that mean you need to be separating the humans in your kill pile so you know if all 12 humans? Because there's but no other way to, have to keep track of how many. You killed, have to yeah. keep track of them then because yeah. that's how it's. That's one of the end game conditions. I mean, I'm, I'm with Chris on it. I like the cards. They look cool. Yes. Yeah, the, well, the photos are very yeah, nice. Yeah, the photos are I great. I find the cards overall a little bit busy, but uh, especially with the, the text at the bottom is stylized text, but um, lettering. But overall, yeah, the, the cards look pretty good. There's some great, nice, sharp, clear photographs of people in zombie outfits, and, you know, costumes and things like that. And they look they're pretty creative with that. Yeah. Some of the names, you know, uh, are an homage to some of your horror films out there, like Shaun of the Dead. You know, you got... Yeah, Shaun and Ed will... You got Shaun and Ed in together. there. You got Little Ash in training, you know, Ash. <laughs> and there's um, there's bride and groom zombies that team up together. And yeah, you got thing. different team-ups. You can, Some zombies can work together, some humans can work together. The pictures on the cards are great. They're entertaining. They're really cool zombie makeup for the most part. But really, that's all it's got going for it. So wrapping up for Zombie Apocalypse. I give Zombie Apocalypse a four. Theme. Oh yeah, there's a theme there. It's, it's zombie killing. There's, there's no doubt that the game holds with the theme. Uh, easy to teach. No, because the rules aren't clear. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you got to take points on that. Fun to play. Not really, because it's just I slapped on a card. You got to, you got a four. You got a three. We could be rolling dice without looking at these cards. Just another one. You could roll a die. You win. Yeah. So it really boils down to how the cards come out. I give Zombie Apocalypse a four. Well, the cards are great. The theme works. Well, I, I, look at the that, cards. To, great. to me, this yeah, the cards are like the backs of the cards are nice, it's, but the artwork though. It's not really the mechanic that you're talking about. Well, yeah, it's the artwork. I, I enjoy it. And now, even the cards that are the exact same card have different artwork on it, which yeah. I can really appreciate. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I really like the effort in the box art, uh, the pictures, and, and the cards. So the real 
not a lot going on here. It's just pretty much a numbers game. Whether you happen to draw the right cards, you know, my cards beat your cards. There's not much to it other than a nice, real cool photos and a little bit of, sense, you know, nice sense of humor. There's a little bit of planning. you got seven cards in your hand. Yeah. So you have a one in seven choice. But, I mean, there was the game that I had, like, four of the same card. So they're uh, so, one in four choice. <laughs> when you're forced to play a card, you know, you don't want to put more fodder down for the guy if you don't have to, but you, you're pretty much chucking away wasted cards and you're not really getting anywhere. So I can't really give it that much. Uh, I just don't find there's enough, enough depth to the game. Um, and I can't base the game just on artwork alone. It, it's got to be mechanics and gameplay and replayability. I'm going to have to give this one uh, a three. I really, really want to like this game, but with the rules, it's really unplayable. It's pretty much, all right, he's got a human that can kill my zombies in the refuge, and he's got zombies out that can kill my zombies because I don't have a humans, and I mean, I, I got humans in my hand, but I don't want to play them because I don't have a refuge. But, you know, you don't want to put out something that your opponent is just going to kill right away and get a point. At the same time, you're forced to play something. So you just kind of have to wait until you get the cards you need in your hand. So there is a bit of choice in that, but really being unclear in the rules can really hurt your game. And that's definitely what happened with Zombie Apocalypse. So that's it for this episode of the Gamer's Table Independent Edition. Tune in next week for another game review of another game. And thanks to all of you who took advantage of the Game Crafters offer for free shipping. We're definitely going to have a lot of games coming.